I'm here with Peter Lavelle, host of RT's Crosstalk. And Peter, it's fitting that we're here in Russia. On Red Square. On Red Square to talk about Ukraine Gate, which really has its origins from Russia Gate. So Peter, I know everyone is just really eager and anxious to hear your take on this. I think we picked a great location. <laughs> the floor is yours, or the square, the square is, is yours. Mine. No, it's it's really interesting to me, but I'm not surprised. I think you know it. It, it all summed up uh, was summed up by Adam Schiff uh, um, on the congressional hearing, um, where instead of referring to documents, this uh, memorandum that looks like has been doctored up by some lawyers, we know the quote unquote whistleblower has lawyers that are connected to the Democratic Party and and um, individuals in the party. Um, and Trump trumped him, whoever the CIA guy is, because he, um, uh, Trump released the conversation with uh, President Zelensky of Ukraine, and um, the whistleblower and his handlers didn't expect it. And so now we have the, the transcript and this complaint, which is not a complaint. This whistleblower should be arrested, uh, should be tried um, uh, for sedition. Uh, as simple as that. This is not a whistleblower situation whatsoever. This person didn't have any first-hand knowledge. Their life wasn't in danger of their livelihood. And what they exposed is nothing that um, is illegal. No Ill illegality has been presented whatsoever. So um, this person, obviously, I this is the second front or uh, um, Russiagate 2.0 or Ukraine 101, whatever you want to call it, but this is just an extension of it. And this is very telling because what is what we know from what is occurring is that um, they haven't given up on uh, impeaching Trump for 2016. It's we're st they're still litigating 2016, <laughs> still and uh, the the result is really quite obvious here. Um, Joe Biden is toast. Uh, the Democratic Party is going to has essentially destroyed him because John Solomon over at the Hill uh, has released 450 odd 450 pay, pay, documents. Pay, pay, pay. Yeah, and um, this is looking bad for uh, old Uncle Joe here and, and his son um, uh, Hunter. But, and, but we knew about this, Alex. You and I with Mikiris talked about this what nine months yeah. ago. Yeah. I mean, it, at, at length, and no one in the mainstream media took very much interest in it. And now um, uh, uh, they have no choice because. Because he's running for president of the United States. So um, uh, this is going to be his loss. Well, how is Trump going to come out on, on all of this? Fine. Okay. I read the transcript. There's some words and phrases I wouldn't have used. I thought they were not precise enough, but we're dealing with Donald Trump. I see no illegality whatsoever. Um, but of course, you're not going to get that from the mainstream media. I really want to stress here, if you're watching CNN and MSNBC, these simply do not know what they're talking about. They are dangerous people. They are committing journalistic malpractice uh, 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 on an unbelievable scale, and they will never recover from it. Never. And um, this is, at the end of the day, I guess Trump and his people are counting electoral votes for 2020. Landslide. Huh? Landslide. Um, because the media has, uh, um, uh, has, has caved when it comes to its responsibility. You know, just to recap, really interesting, we, I was talking with Alex before we, as we were walking on Red Square, and if you look at the Pentagon Papers and you look at uh, Iran-Contra, um, what is different now? Well, then the media was on, did real investigative journalism. Uh, Robert Perry, God bless yeah. his soul, he was the great journalist that broke Iran-Contra. He, he wasn't a partisan, he was a journalist. Now what we have, we have this revolving door, not with the military-industrial complex and, and politics, but we have it with the military-industrial complex and the media. Okay, how many people, former functionaries in the CIA and the FBI, are working now for the liberal media? Clapper, I love it. Brennan. Go, you could list them. I'm okay. sure Bolton is is ready to take up a position. And he's probably leaking all along. Yeah. Okay, and th and what happens is that these people in the deep state that are partisans, they leak a story and then they're brought on air to confirm the story, their own story that they leak to the media. This is what the circus has turned into. Um, the next step, well, uh, do, do the Democrats really want to go through a, a year and a half of a, another charade? Can they afford it? Can they afford to do it again? It's, it is patently obvious this is a setup. When the when liberal media says there's a cover up. No, the media is involved in a cover-up. Peter, any final words from Red Square as we close out this video? I am in awe every time I come here. I've lived here for 20 years. Every time I come around and walk on the square, this is an extraordinary architecture, and it is so representative uh, of Russia. 
And um, as you can see, it's really, it's, this is every day, every day. Yeah. I don't care what the weather is, people come to see this great monument to architecture. It's really extraordinary. Right behind us, you can see this is the department store called Goom. Uh, uh, it's world famous. It's one of the biggest bu buildings in Russia. It was so beautiful inside. When I came in here, when it rained, it leaked. And there was mud <laughs> on the ground, you know, on the on the floor and all that. And look at it now. It brought it's back to its, its uh, and, former and up glory. up over there is the inside the Kremlin. That's inside right? the Kremlin. That's Putin's house. That's where he lives right now, okay? I, be, I was in there a few months ago to get an award. It's awesome. a pretty big place. Big, okay? huh? Really big and really majestic. And, 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 and uh, you feel a sense of history. And as I always feel on Red Square. you got to remember, I was a, a little boy growing up in a small town outside of Denver, Colorado. How the hell did I get here? <laughs> <laughs> and I ask myself that question every time yeah. I see this here. I'm not supposed to be here, but I am. But you are. <laughs> and if you're visiting, guys, Moscow, you can actually get tickets to go inside the Red Absolutely. Square and see exhibitions, and they have all kinds of interesting stuff there. For Plenty about. of stuff to see. Sure, yeah. So, um, uh, welcome to Moscow. This is what Inside it really it looks like, and this is how it really feels. Uh -huh. And uh, we were hoping for a little bit, be a bit be uh, better weather, but we had it in the morning. This but... is Russia, you know. Blame yeah. Putin. All right, blame, blame <laughs> it all on Russia. All right, guys, take care, everybody.